came into office. To this end, a short time ago, I signed a new executive order to ensure that when it comes to essential medicines, we buy American. The executive order will require that U.S. government agencies purchase all essential medicines that we need from American sources. The executive order will also sweep away unnecessary regulatory barriers to domestic pharmaceutical production and support advanced manufacturing processes that will keep our drug prices low and allow American companies to compete on the world stage. We'll be able to compete on the world stage, but we're now going to have the lowest prices as opposed to, by far, the highest prices. I have people that I know that go to Canada they go to Canada to buy drugs, to buy prescription drugs. They go there because the price is so much lower than the United States. And yet it's made by the same company, often in the same plant. It's a disgrace. And the politicians allowed this to happen for many, many decades. You have people called middlemen. I don't know who the middlemen are. I don't know. They never say middle women, so they're politically not correct. But I've heard the term middlemen for a long time. They are so wealthy. They are so wealthy. Nobody has any idea who the hell they are, what they do. They make more money than the drug companies. You know, in all fairness, at least the drug companies have to produce a product. And it has to be a good product. But the middlemen, well, the rebate that I'm doing cuts out the middlemen and it reduces costs and the money goes back to the people purchasing the drugs. So I have a lot of enemies out there. This may be the last time you'll see me for a while. A lot of very, very rich enemies, but they are not happy with what I'm doing. But I figure we have one chance to do it, and no other president's going to do what I do. No other president would do a favored nations, a rebate, a buy from other nations at much less cost. Nobody. And there are a lot of unhappy people, and they're very rich people, and they're very unhappy. Here's my fourth promise to American workers. Beyond our medical supply chains over the next four years. We will launch our millions of new manufacturing jobs across many other critical sectors that are vital to our national security and prosperity, from electronics to machine tools to shipping aerospace autos, and of course to iron and to steel. And we will never forget your washers and your dryers, okay? During eight years of the last administration, And by the way, I have to just tell you this little story, a couple of little stories, if you don't mind. Do you mind? Okay, because that's better than the other stuff, right? No, I was with somebody, and they said, you know, for a dishwasher, we don't have enough water, sir. I think the, a lot of the people in the audience would understand what I'm saying. They don't have enough water because they put restrictors on, so you don't have any water. And I said, what is that? What is that? In most states, I mean, outside of desert areas, we have so much water, we don't know what to do with it, right? A lot of states. Your state does pretty well with water, right? So they have plenty of water. So I passed a regulation. I signed a regulation that give the dishwashers much more water. And I was asking today, and that, by the way, includes your washers. You don't need too much water in your dryers, but it includes your washers. And I was just saying to your brilliant uh, people that are doing such a good job running your company, I said, how much impact has that had? They said, unbelievable. It's been unbelievable. Because I had people saying they'd wash their dishes and they'd press the button five times. So in the end, they're probably wasting more water than if they did it once. So do you notice the people that make the machines? You know what I'm talking about. We now have the water that you need instead of stupid where you have much less water than you need and you just keep going over and over again. I had people say they'd press the button five times. They didn't have enough water. And the same thing with sinks, toilets, and showers. You go into a new home, you turn on the faucet, no water comes out. You turn on the shower. If you're like me, you can't wash your beautiful hair properly. You waste 20 minutes longer. Please come out, the water, it drips, right? You know what I'm talking about? They put restrictors on. I got rid of that, I signed it out. It's common sense. So now when you actually go into a new home and pay a lot of money, you turn on a faucet and water actually comes out. Isn't that nice? That was a regulation.